This is very worrying. Google has given roughly 200 people, this is from 2014, and police organisations, including a British police unit, the ability to flag up to 20 videos at once to be reviewed for violating the site's guidelines. I suggest that a lot of these videos are put there deliberately in order to create uh, a, a fake need for censorship. Um, lots of the so-called terrorist videos uh, are actually put up deliberately in order to be taken down. Uh, this enables the police to come up with lots of different laws and rules which will enable legitimate content to be taken down. Um, there has never been any hate speech in my videos. Never. Never. But I do call out lies when I see them. And that doesn't mean it's hate. I mean, obviously, if you uh, belong to an elite, uh, you might consider uh, shining a, 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 a spotlight on their crimes. Hate. I don't call it hate. I call it investigation. I call it due diligence. I call it honour. But, uh, of course, how convenient for them to call it hate so they can have a pretext for taking it down. There's never been any anything illegal on my channel. Nothing illegal and nothing immoral. Just a man having his say. Um, yes, yes, my opinions are not popular with the powers that be. The establishment, the globalists don't like it. I know that. But I should be allowed to have my say because we are supposed to live in a free country where free speech is respected and protected. So basically, the police counter-terrorism unit, um, the new spark concerns that Google lets the UK government censor videos that it doesn't like. Uh, any user can ask for video to be reviewed. Participants in the Super Flagger program can seek reviews of 20 videos at once. So I suspect that some of the people who are false flagging my videos are part of this super flagger pr program and of course uh, YouTube community guidelines are based upon interpretation. There's nothing whatsoever in any of my videos, even the videos that have been deleted that was would, would and I'd be I would actually like an opportunity to show the videos that were deleted to the by the government by the by YouTube to a court of law and ask them what was so objectionable about them because there was nothing. There was nothing that a reasonable jury would find objectionable. And yet, because of the campaign of false flagging against my channel, and the campaign of hatred against me, and the violation of my human rights, doxing, publication of information, the hatred directed against me and against other people who believe in the truth, um, well, so Google's guidelines prohibit videos that incite people to commit violence. Well, I've never incited anyone to commit violence. No animal abuse, no drug abuse, no underage drinking, no bomb making. Right? It's nothing to do with copyright either. So basically, it's all a lot of nonsense. Um, breaches their terms. And it's all very woolly, isn't it? Or restricted of younger users. There's nothing, 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 nothing here. Google should not be allowed to get away with this. Google should respect free speech. Google should stop demanding that everybody obey their laws, their rules, their instructions. If Google and YouTube want to do business in the UK, they need to abide by UK standards. Okay, I understand that if Google wants to do business in Israel, presumably they will abide by Israeli laws that prohibit um, anything in support of the Palestinians. I think Google would do very well in North Korea. Uh, they're the worst censors in the internet by far.